Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video, um, this time of the movie Van Helsing. So, Van Helsing is a really extremely fun movie. It stars Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale, two extremely talented um, people, and as Frankenstein, werewolves, vampires, a lot of supernatural stuff going on, a lot of action going on, a lot of story going on. Um, I think that it was a very fun popcorn movie. I mean, come on, Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale, that's all that I really need to say, right? Um, it looks amazing in 4K, and um, it's so... It's such a rich story, and they could have went anywhere with the series after this. Um, why they didn't, I have no idea, um, but they should have. There was so much potential to make it into a huge series. Um, I mean, there's just no reason. Could you imagine if they... We're on another Van Helsing movie that would have been like made this year. Could you imagine how great it would have looked and everything? It would be crazy. It's insane. And Hugh Jackman. Amazing. He can easily pull more off. Um, but anyway, I love how this movie has its own style. Um, its own lore. It's, it's just really 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 nicely done I think that they did an excellent job with this really don't have any complaints um, I mean other than they didn't make any more that's really my biggest complaint of the entire thing because they had just so much potential and everything and I don't understand why studios make really great movies and everything and then they don't continue them it makes no sense if you um, set up a great story, and there's potential there, why not go for it? Um, so really, that's all that I have to say about this movie. I know that it's a really short review, but, um, I don't have any complaints about it, other than that you didn't make any more, and it has an excellent cast. It had its own, um its own style to it and everything and I really love that. It really separated itself from the different supernatural um, movies and shows and everything. And yeah. So I obviously highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. It's it's excellent. So um it has to do with uh, Dracula his three wives, um, Van Helsing, Frankenstein, um, werewolves, like it has a lot going on. Um, the special effects are really cool, and it really fits into the style that they were going with. So, I really love how she, Kate Beckinsale did this around the same time that she was doing the Underworld movies. And she should do more movies like this. I know that for her it's redundant to keep doing the same things and everything. And it feels like she's just... I know that she doesn't like playing the same character over and over. But people love those characters like Celine. They, they, I mean, that is your franchise. Even though you think that it's redundant that you're playing the same person continuously and everything but that's what people love you that's why people loved the um what is that the the resident evil movies mila jovovic amazing everyone loves that character because of her everyone loves that franchise because of her everyone loves underworld because of kate beckinsale um, and she's really great with genre movies, so 
I understand that she wants to do boring movies and everything. I mean, not boring movies, but come on. Pearl Harbor and... Um, she just recently starred in a movie where it was like a period piece or something like that. It's like, that that's great and everything, and you can still do those, but people love you in genre movies, so why not collect your paycheck, do great acting like you already do, and just keep doing it, and just do your side things, so. But it is what it is. It's her choice and everything, and that's great. Um, Especially in Stonehurst Asylum, one of the best movies ever made, and it's so shocking in... I mean, Ben Kingsley, and, but that's a story for a different day. Getting off completely off topic. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Check out Van Helsing. It's amazing. So, have a great day, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Now, until next time.